Hi everyone, my name is Tom, I'm from Liware and today I will be talking about battle between fixed price model of software development and agile models called sometimes time material models. So let's start. The first we need to answer the question what is the fixed price model? In software development uh, you have three most important things which have uh, impact on uh, software development. The first is price yeah, and this is the main thing in fixed price because it just as, uh, as it's called fixed yeah, so we don't change it during the development. The second one are features we are going to implement and the last one is quality. So when we are working in fixed price model then uh, everything must be agreed before we start development. So it means that in most cases, uh, teams anal uh, analysts are working on a very detailed specification, uh, which uh, takes a lot of time and uh, yeah, has a lot of pages. And then uh, team is estimating how many hours they need or Mondays, how many hours Mondays they need to implement it. Yeah, so it's. Uh, quite dangerous because uh, in bigger projects we need to uh, we need to go through a very complicated process and uh, from my experience and from experience of many many suppliers uh, uh, I can tell you that it's very very hard to estimate it properly yeah so this is the risk number one the risk number two we fix project development is that uh, in many many cases requirements change during development. What it means when we start, let's say, six months project, then after one, maybe two months of development, when we have something to show, uh, then our sponsor uh, takes alpha version of, of uh, application, go to his clients and then uh, give some feedback. Yeah, And then we see that uh, many things could be implemented differently that uh, requirements were not uh, clear, that we have new ideas from, uh, from the clients, yeah, from the users. And uh, uh, it means that we need to make some changes. But the question is how to make those changes if the project is fixed? Yeah? So this is a big downside uh, of uh, fixed price model development because from the supplier perspective, uh, it shouldn't happen yeah so it's very tough to uh, to 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 uh, take care on uh, and uh, we just uh, make risk of uh, delivering things which are not most valuable to clients bigger in contradiction when we work with agile methodologies uh, like scrum for for example yeah which are mainly time material models then uh, all the team and also client focus on delivering the biggest value to the product. And what it means? It means that the team and the client together, we are very open to make changes. If we see that something could be uh, developed a bit different and it will give more value to the clients, we just do it. Yeah. And in Scrum, uh, the way how it's done, is that we divide development process into uh, timestamps, we call them sprints. And uh, before each two, for example, week sprint, uh, team with the client decide what will be uh, developed. Yeah, so if something change, it's very easy to answer to this and uh, implement something different, which will, which will give more value to the clients. In fixed price models, it's hard, as I said before, or almost impossible because everything was defined upfront. Yeah. So from the perspective of delivering value, time material or scrum is uh, much better. But uh, from the client perspective, uh, it's uh, tough because uh, you never know what budget will be finally needed. Yeah. So also there are some risks and the question is how to cover them. Yeah? From my, uh, my practice, the best way is to have fixed but 
not the price, but the budget. Yeah, so uh, we talk with the client before start of the development, what we are going to do. We write documentation, specification, but the goal for specification is different. Uh, the goal is not to make us safe. And uh, when we start development, uh, then implement uh, every single word from every page. But the goal is to uh, understand well what we are going to do. And also uh, the goal for specification is to estimate the budget. And when we start the development, we have in mind what kind, uh, what, what, how big budget is. And uh, after each sprint, we talk with the client uh, where we use for, for this uh, reviews uh, meetings, yeah, which are part of the Scrum methodology. And then we discuss where we are, what was delivered and how much budget left. Yeah. And uh, in this way, with the client, we can make a decisions in very agile way what we should focus on in next sprint or maybe what we should leave because it will not bring uh, as much value. Uh, and then uh, what is also important, we have the same goal. Yeah? So the goal for the development team is not to implement everything from fixed price specification, but the goal is to deliver the biggest value. Uh, and this is common goal with the client. So this is the, the big difference. But the question is if time material model is always better. No. If you have a simple project, if you have some website to implement, some e-commerce, and your team was doing it many, many times before, and it's quite easy for everyone to make a good fixed price estimation because you are doing things which you, which you, you do, did many times before, then fixed price is okay. Uh, and uh, in most cases, there are no risks because everything is clear upfront. So in general, we can divide development models into two different, uh, different uh, scenarios. If you implement something new, complex, sophisticated, then you should agree with your client on fixed budget time material model. If you are going to do something what you did many times before, then fixed price is okay. Cool. So guys, uh, I hope that my explanations were helpful. If you have any questions, just contact me. Uh, you will find uh, information about me in the description for this movie. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye.